As long as there has been merriment, music, and mirth, good food, and more importantly, good drink, the toils of life melt away, but if only for a moment. Outside of these precious moments, hardship, tragedy, and conflict have been the dominant story of human history. Which invariably has led to the self-medication technique of drowning one's sorrows, a practice as old as time itself. Yet, sometimes in these moments of inquisitive stupor, the real questions begin to emerge. The questions that give rise to the type of answers that lead to a greater understanding of the world around us. Questions such as, when did people start putting coasters under their drinks, and what compelled them to do so? This is the story of one of mankind's most underappreciated inventions. A familiar sight of our modern world, this ubiquitous sliding platform has been entrusted with safely transporting our favorite refreshments and protecting our tables from drink condensation. It wasn't always this way, though. During Renaissance-era Europe, the aristocracy and nobility would host lavish feasts and parties. And, like all memorable parties, sometimes it would end late, long past the servants retiring to bed. Which presented a problem to those still attending. How does one pass large wine decanters around without servants to do it? That answer emerged in the coaster. Now, large, unwieldy decanters could be pushed easily, slid across to fellow guests at the table to keep the party going. These table-gliding coasters were made of different materials in the early days, from wood for the peasants to silver plates for the gentry. It was a very functional invention that reshaped the practices of dining norms. The story of the coaster doesn't end there, though. It heads over to Germany. Germany, in the late 19th century, was fully immersed in the Industrial Revolution, with many workers now flocking to work in factories. It was here in the factories that coasters, as we most commonly think of them now, as paper-based and made from compacted, pulped wood, first came to be. And it was all thanks to Robert Spooth of Dresden who patented this process in 1892. These coasters proved to be very popular and soon found their ways into pubs and bars across Germany. It wasn't long until their advertising potential was realized, leading to all sorts of designs and branding being displayed on them. So what's next for the iconic drinks coaster? Over the past 100 years, coasters have taken on different shapes and been made of different materials. What forms could the next generation of coasters take? One thing is clear. Only time will tell.